art lovers. Today I'd like to present to you one of my favorite artworks, a painting I recently saw in person that I'm really excited to share with you. So as with any painting we go into, the first thing we'll do is take a quick look at it and come up with a title, a one-liner for uh, what we see immediately. Here it is. Great. Now, let's start looking at this artwork in more depth and figure out what's going on. Let's put the pieces of the puzzle together. To begin with, let's find a main character. How about that proud, foppish fellow in the foreground? Let's take a closer look at him. Let's figure out what he's all about. And to do so, let's look at his attire, his clothing, to get to know him better. He's got this tall hat with a rich plume coming from it, and then this rich suede brown jacket, and along the arm of that jacket, teal satiny sleeve, and a white sash across his chest, and white ruffles at his neck, and he holds a sword, and that sword is ornately decorated with a web spiral on the hilt, and if we go along the length of that sword, we see that its tip is next to a pot containing a flower. Why does he have a sword? next to a flower. Why is there a flower next to his feet? Well, let's look at the rest of the artwork to figure out this mystery. Where is he? He looks to be in some kind of garden. He's on a dirt path. But there's so many flowers, all kinds of different plots of different colored flowers. So it's more than a garden. But if we take a closer look at these flowers, though they are different colors, they all look the same. And for you horticulturalists out there, they are in fact all tulips, different kinds of tulips. So he must be in some kind of tulip farm. Now there are other characters in this painting, and we can take a closer look at them now. They all seem to be wearing the same thing. These strange looking helmets, all kind of in a brown uniform, and they all have weapons. They look like soldiers, but these soldiers are not in an organized group. They're not marching. They are in the middle of the flowers. They look like they're stomping on the flowers. In the background, you see these men who are kind of looking down, feet raised, and then there's this horse also stomping. And then there's another soldier on the side who seems to be hitting the flowers with his baton. Why are they doing this? What did the flowers ever do? Okay, now this Lord of the Tulips. Is he with these soldiers? Well, what does he think of what they're doing? Let's take a look at his expression. Look at his face. Look at the way his chin is lifted and his eyes are staring at the soldiers, especially those two that are running towards him condescendingly. And if you look beneath that mustache of his, that pristine mustache, you can see that his mouth is pouting. He does not like what he sees. But he's not acting. He's not trying to stop them. Well, he's one man versus several others. Those two soldiers running towards him look like they're shouting at him. And we can guess at what they want. There's a flower at his feet. Out of all the flowers that are being destroyed, he's protecting this one. Protecting, yes. Take a look at the way he's holding his sword. His arm is out, and the tip of the sword is in front of the flower pot. He is between the flower and those soldiers. And at a moment's notice, if those soldiers get too close, that sword will come out. Why is he protecting this flower? It must be very precious. In fact, it is. It's called a Semper Augustus. And in 1630s in Holland, a Semper Augustus was worth 15 times a skilled laborer's wages in one year. In fact, tulips in general were or worth a lot of money. There was at that time a kind of tulip craze. Everybody invested in tulips and the t price of tulips skyrocketed. And as the market was flooded with tulips, well, there was a tulip bust. And so the price of tulips went down drastically. The government intervened and tried to stabilize the tulip market by limiting the supply of tulips, by destroying tulips. And so what they would do would be to send soldiers out to tulip farms where they would annihilate tulips. And this is what is happening here in this painting. 
Soldiers have come to this tulip lord's farm and have started destroying them. He can't do anything about it except for protecting that one precious tulip, that Semper Augustus. Is there a Semper Augustus in your life? Something so precious to you that you would watch everything else be destroyed, but not this thing. I have a Semper Augustus in my life. And that object is so precious to me that I wouldn't let anybody get close enough to touch it if their intention were to destroy it. And when I think of protecting that Semper Augustus, I think of this tulip lord. And I think of that poised sword and the elegant manner in which he is ready to defend what is precious to him. Thank you for sharing this artwork with me. And I look forward to sharing another one with you next time.